Hello, hello, welcome back to another episode of Slime Rancher. We are going on a pink lord hunt today. We need them so, so very badly. Uh, to the point where I'm going to pick up said gadget from that. So we have a refiner link on the go. So everyone's happy. I, I did a little bit of uh, feeding and whatnot before starting up the episode. So they should be even more doubly ready for the life ahead of them without me being there. And we will have that refinery link on the go, so we don't ever have to actually head back. We can stay out here the entire episode and explore and have a little bit of fun. Grabbing up all the pink flirts and maybe, uh, maybe get lucky with a few things here and there. Who knows? We'll see. I'm going to probably accidentally pick up a lot of these pink slimes, that's for sure. Good, you did eat that carrot, eventually. Give me carrot. Or give me plort, not carrot. You guys eat carrots and give me plorts, not you guys give eat plorts and give me carrots. That doesn't make any sense. Ow. 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 Stop. Okay, up to 31 pink plorts already. It's not bad at all. A little bit of running around here. Hmm. Uh, hi to turret, would you like to be able to do your job? Yes, no, please. It's not. Let's go ahead and... Now... Go away, I'm trying to refill my water. Bother me as I'm trying to refill here. You guys just don't learn, do you? Go away. Hydro turret. Act better. Be better. But don't 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 be a bee. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you eat that? Like you're scared. Why would you? Why, what? I don't know. They confuse me. Uh, passport board? Oh, okay, you did land over there. Can we, uh, can we actually head over here? Because we haven't really been in the quarry for a while. I'm trying to remember, do, did, did I, uh, did I leave any drills on this side? Because if so, they would have been sitting here for quite some time. And it does not appear so. That is a lot of rock slimes. Holy crap. Some rock slimes. Car food. AKA carrots. Okay, yeah, there's not a lot going on over here. And uh, since we're here, we as we well grab what we can. We do have the refinery link with us after all. Oh, and those two just disappeared, which means I think this is our last one over here. And that one might not even have only one more use left on it. Okay, let's go ahead and find a spot and place down our refiner link. Try to empty out our inventory. And pick it right back up. I feel like that's a bit cheaty now, honestly, with what I just did and how quickly that was to do. Oh, I'll pick port. Take it. Give me, give me. We'll, uh, we'll leave the tower to his own device. Uh, good job getting away from the tower, by the way, Pink Song. You would uh, make your family proud if you had any after the tower attack. Do slimes have family in this game? They're very happy. I don't know. Would you guys consider slimes having families in this game? Is that, I mean, they... They disappear to spawn, for lack of a better term, really, out of thin air. They don't... The, the, the original breeding mechanic to the slimes, as far as I'm aware of. 
So, do they actually get offspring? I don't know. Can, can a slime have a family without offspring or parents? <clears throat> hmm. And I, I don't mean like breeding of particular like two slimes together to make a Largo or anything. Oh, you know what? I, I guess there are. I, I, I guess technically there might be actually families in this game. Uh, if we take a look at Gordos, when they explode, smaller versions of themselves are formed, you know? And uh, I think there's what, generally five or six? So yeah, I, I guess those five or six would be the children of a slime. If you want to think about it in that way, I. I, I can't say I have until now thought of it that way at all. Until just then. It's a weird thought to have, honestly. I think Slimes were probably, uh. Probably act kind of like amoebas. Where, you know, they would get so big and then. Uh, outside of them exploding, uh, they would probably split into two smaller ones. Or in, I, I guess in the case of uh, Gordos, they would, they would probably explode. But yeah, I could, I could, I could actually see slimes reproducing now it, within the uh, confines of this game. Now, whether or not they uh, implement something like that, I don't know. Let's uh, let's get a refiner link though. Oh, you know what? We never, we never actually mess around with the. the uh, the Grey Warp Depot. So let's uh, let's actually put one down, and let's put one down, the other one down here. Okay, so they're installed. Can I uh, can I store a slime in you? I cannot. Can can I store water? Nope. I guess slimes are not considered a resource. Let's see. Can I uh, can I find a resource around here that could uh, play around with? Ports? Okay. Uh, how about one more? Ports, ports over here? Yep. Can these deposits carry more than one resource? So, like, if I put it in here, I immediately see it over here, and hell, you can actually see off in the distance that it updates on the other screen. Uh, no, we cannot. I cannot interact with these at all. Upgrade them. Destroy gadgets. Okay, so you can't actually pick those up once you place them. That that's you know what? I'm not a fan of those. Uh just one resource at a time. That's not a whole lot. Now that might be a little more beneficial uh, around a ranch once they add a lot more zones. So you can start Pushing larger amounts of like food between places, but until that happens, I think I'll not bother using those anytime soon. That or if they were upgraded to, or if they were given the option to be upgraded uh, to a second tier where they were able to store and transfer like maybe two, uh, possibly three. And maybe, maybe very, very late down the road, since they uh, base a lot of things being unlocked by time. Uh, four things at once. Of course, it'll be very expensive to build at that point in time. But a a as it stands, only one resource at a time. Um, I don't know what the limit is on those for the number because we didn't test that around the base, where you know I have a crap ton of resources available. But it just didn't seem like it it it's it's worth it. Like. No, I, I can't even, I can't, I can't think of a reason at all to even, like, put one down here. So I had these cubiary bushes, like, on, uh, on the other side. I, it, maybe, maybe that, that'd be worthwhile, but honestly, I could just build them right next to the pen, like I did. So, uh, I don't know, there, there's a bit of planning involved that you could do to circumvent the requirement of them. And really, the tree's gone. Grab two. 
Uh, and we were only here for a brief, brief moment. As we were just making our way through. To uh, head back out the front here. So we can continue getting some more pink slimes. Yeah, the, the warp stuff on that. I'm not finding it to, to be useful at this point in time. I don't know, maybe you guys have found a use for it and maybe I'm overlooking something that it could offer. But as it stands, not really. Uh, especially considering you can't pick them back up and they have to be destroyed, meaning wherever you put them, they're, they're a fixed... a fixed thing. Yeah, it's almost like you have to plan with those in, in mind. I, I don't know if anyone would do that. Maybe like on a second or third playthrough, possibly? What just exploded over there? Did you guys see that? That was weird. What? What exploded over there? Uh, let's see, we got another 25 pink lords. Doing good. Slime's falling out of the sky. Wow. That was actually pretty cool and impressive. So can I do that again? I cannot. Oh well. Yeah, I can't. Oh well. I tried. I tried. The parking's over here. Uh, there's some growing. Good. I will make a quick little good stop delivering the food since it's all grown over here. Except for that one. Do we that one recently? I don't know if we get that one recently. Did. Oh. Yeah, I think you guys might be able to. Uh, you guys eat more veggies, have some carrots. Alright, back out the front. We need to get more pink ports. Never enough pink ports. Never enough pink slimes. Never. It's never enough. Always need more. Eye twitch. Insert, well, insert eye twitch here. Uh, it'd be easier to, to do if I had a webcam on, but uh, don't. Great. Hello. I actually do have a webcam, but uh, the quality is so terrible that I, I don't actually even use it anymore for like streaming purposes. Um, yeah, at one point I used to, but I, I'm not. I'm not a fan of the quality of it. It's like from 2002 or so, so it's like 15 years old of a webcam. Quality is not a thing back then. It was more of a, holy crap, we got something to work. Oh, that was a treasure pod going through its animation again. Okay, I was really confused. There, there was just like a weird light going on in the distance that I saw. Now, running through here... And if I had access to carrots to feed them with... Suddenly so producing a lot of pink hordes. And we even dropped off some already. Oh. Perhaps something, uh, that's something I'll have to keep in mind then. For future playthroughs. For pink ports. Now, I know we did that at the beginning of this season. Uh, running out there for pink ports, whatever we could, for uh, beginning new bugs. But I didn't realize you can get so many. So very, very quickly. Let's go ahead and get uh, some ports into the system. Nope. Uh, we have 116 pink boards, wow. Uh, da, da, da. anything of interest down here? No. 
notebook. Yep. Let's see, this pen has another, what, 40 or so? 44? We're gonna pick up 50 rock forts here, apparently. Exactly 50. Those guys exploding have messed up some boards for me quite a bit, actually. Uh, whatever I'm trying to suck them out like this because of them existing in the real world. I, I say like that. I, I say that like they they shouldn't exist in the real world. Uh, no, uh, like it's not just a animation. It, it they they actually come out and they exist as physical objects. So when they explode, the 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 things end up just bouncing all over the place because of the explosion. Like the the, the walls of the pen don't contain it in uh, the the explosion specifically. So we'll uh, we'll end up with the uh, ports all over the place over there every once in a while when I go to take things out. And it's like where that one's gonna come from later on. Be like yeah, I, I'm forgetting completely, but uh, they work that way with explosions. I. I I don't know why. Um, eh, yeah. Yeah, walls of pens do not retain explosions, so. They, they, that would explain why you get damage. Uh, that would also explain why ports fly over the place and why there are random ports over there every once in a while. Alright, let's see. You guys good on food at the moment? Uh, more or less. Gotta put these 15 in now. Uh, let's go see what more we need then for pink slimes and what have you. Because I'm not sure how many more pink floors we need. Uh, uh, pink. Did I say pink slimes earlier? Just a moment ago, I think I did. I'm in pink floors. Uh, I'm not sure how many more of each of these we need. So there's them. Oh! We happen to have exactly enough pink ports off of this episode to do it. Okay, so we have six of each. That is awesome. That will allow us drastically to increase our productivity, and it's before I'm even ready for them all. Which means we get to go around, run around, pick some stuff up. Uh, what have you? To get some interesting loot on a bit more of a reliable scale. Now, I, I, like I said, I'm going to have to make sure all of these other ones uh, no longer exist. I'll even have to run around the, the, the island a couple times, I'm sure, because I, I think I've placed a few apiaries elsewhere, and I, I think I've forgotten where I've put them uh, at this point in time. So, yeah. Let's let's continue to make our rounds on the drills, apiary, well, no longer apiaries, and uh, pumps to get them extracted. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully gone. Now, I normally would like them to last longer, but if I can just keep them to be gone. So when I plant all six of them, I can just harvest all six at a time and not have to worry about it. Their uh, timing being weird. It'll uh, save us a lot of uh, time and work having to run out here for like one or two of them at a time and whatnot. So I'm taking like an efficiency hit now for a better later. Did we have another pump out here? I thought we did. I swear we had another pump out here. We don't have any pumps on this island, do we? It'd be bad if we did, though I don't think we do. Well, so I haven't found any additional treasure pods. I wonder if we found them all. Or if they're really, really well hidden. Mm, nope. I'm barely... Uh, 
I, I barely made that. That that could have been very bad. I could have fell into whatever's down below. I actually don't know what's down below that little bit, but I'm glad I didn't. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's really much of anything around here. Or, uh, pumps at all. Maybe we... Maybe we did use them all. Uh, right before I attempt to make the jump, let's get that sample back up. Yeah, I swear we have one more pump over here, though. I have sworn we did. I guess not. All right. Uh, that's fine. I think. These uh still doing their thing. They are. Put all, put all. Put all ports. A lot of fun ports. Quite a few fun ports. I don't know. Things are good. Oh god, I'm yawning. Why am I yawning? How much are puddle boards right now? 64 new bucks. Wow. That's a decent chunk of change. And how many puddle boards do we have in here? 35? No. Puddle boards are definitely a pain to use. Like, I. You saw I was right on that, right? And, and they still explode into water because, you know, they're. Can't, they're, they're, they're puddle boards. They're, they, they need to be in water to exist. But, God, they're, they're really difficult to handle. That's what Oka Oka, we can give it to these guys again. Hopefully they'll be happy. I know I would be if my food, food feeder was empty for a while. So yeah, I think at this point in time, uh, we are going to continuously uh, check those things out and about. Uh, as we can know, we will have to do, do that for the drills that we have. Uh, I think there's like one or two still in the Indigo Quarry. Uh, and grab whatever we can from them. Double check the island to make sure that we didn't have anything miscellaneous laying around. Uh, which, like I know we do in the, um, uh, the, 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 the ruins area. The name is not working for me there. Oh, it's got 320 left on it? Okay. So I guess we're not gonna grab that one this episode. But, uh, we we should be able to head out to the uh, the ruins. I keep wanting to say relics, and I, I I partly blame Warframe for that. That's the 15th one. All right, let's go check out the the ruins. See what we have. Um, I'm going to store these my mangoes in storage. That's a god. Alright, ruins we go. So, things, did you, uh, did you give us anything interesting here? Wait, did you just spit out two red echoes? Gold echo. Echo. Huh! What do you mean here gives you echoes? I would have not guessed. Let's go back over here before the despawn. I've got a gold echo, two blue, and two red. Alright, three red because there's one right there. Can I get this one? I am being greedy for that echo. That gold echo. Hmm. 
Excuse me. Huh. I... I had no idea there were gold ones. That makes me wonder if this is a rare drop for putting that thing in there. And that looks really, really cool. I like it. We can line our house with these. Yeah, gold echoes. That that that's throwing me off a bit. I really did not expect those at all. Anyway, that'll be it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I, I, gold echo. Okay, that'll be into <laughs> uh, English and things. Uh, that'll be it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Until next time, as always, take it easy.